That is okay. Thank you. <laughs> The National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, has called on Parliament to integrate the strategic environment assessment guidelines in the laws so as to ensure strict adherence by developers. Speaking at the launch of the SEA report, the Environment Cabinet Secretary, Professor Judy Wahungu, directed all developers both in public and the private sector to ensure strict adherence to the SEA guidelines. I urge all ministries who are formulating various policies and other institutions developing plans and programs to subject them to SEER using these guidelines. The genesis of SEER, you know what it is, is from the Netherlands. And these people were able to apply this to their, poly, to their plans for the next 200 years. You know that what the Dutch say, God created the world, the Dutch created Netherlands. Professor Wahungu said environmental considerations are critical to realizing sustainable development that takes cognizance of the significance of environmental conservation and protection. The government hopes to achieve these by ensuring that environmental considerations are integrated in policies, plans and programs. NEMA Director General Professor Geoffrey Wahungu said the environment body will bring on board the energy, transport and mining sectors so as to reduce negative impacts the sectors have had on the environment. A total of 28 number SEA reports have been received to date in NEMA and these have been approved and the first example we have just observed is outside there is Tattoo City. Implementation of all these guidelines and to entrenching SEA in the NEMA strategic plan. We will ensure that the funding is adequate for the same. Strategic environment assessment is enshrined in the constitution as part of measures to protect the country's ecosystem. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News.